it is now my pleasure to introduce Chris Anizek. He is the CTO at the CNCF, as well as a VP at, the VP at the Linux Foundation. He's gonna to speak to us about charting a WASM landscape. Please help me welcome Chris to the stage. Hello, hello. It's good to kind of see everyone here for the first uh, WASMCon. Um, it's actually kind of fun seeing everyone in this room because we've been kind of discussing doing this for well over uh, a year. We've had some great success with our cloud native WASM days that we've hosted in the CNCF community and there's been kind of a, a demand to do something a little bit broader to include not only kind of the builders integrating with the CNCF and cloud native ecosystem, but folks that want to learn about WebAssembly, folks that want to kind of talk about their kind of use cases outside the cloud native community. So, Today, uh, you know, I'm gonna have a couple announcements. I'm gonna pine a little bit about my kind of uh, thoughts of, of where WASM is and where WASM is going, and then kind of make some short, uh, quick announcements before handing it off to our other speakers. So, you know, uh, from, from my perspective, um, I, I kind of see WASM in kind of the early, early uh, kind of cloud native container days. If you remember back in the day, there was a lot of innovation happening in the container and cloud native space. There was multiple run times, multiple specs, everyone kind of fighting for mind share. I, I feel like something similar is, is happening in, in, in the WASM space and that's kind of where uh, you know, we currently you know, are. I think it's just natural innovation cycles in CNCF. We have this, uh, what we call, uh, you know, this kind of famous diagram of having different little levels from the crossing the chasm book and a lot of the um, adoption and innovation happening in WASM is, is on the early adopter, adopter side and it will naturally progress. Like in CNCF, you have things like Kubernetes, they're on the, they're over the hump, right? But all the other early stuff is, um, you know, still kind of brewing. Uh, in CNCF, oddly, we've been an early adopter of WASM technology. A lot of our projects have used WebAssembly to uh, you know, uh, do a plugin you know, uh, system to support multiple languages, things like Cubeboard and Istio, et cetera, all kind of have that path. We also have some runtimes in our space because people are like, well, if we're running containers in Kubernetes, we might as well try to do the same you know, with, with WebAssembly. So it's kind of um, nice to see this, but we're still very, very early days and I kind of expect this space to evolve pretty fast. One interesting thing that has been done in our community, people have asked us like, what are people doing? You know, how can we make things better? And so we went and talked to a lot of our member community and we actually found out that there's actually a lot of early adopters in WASM. We have folks like BBC, Disney, Amazon, you know, using, uh, you know, WebAssembly technology, Bosch in the automotive sector, uh, Goldman, uh, Goldman Sachs in the finance sector. So there's a lot of companies, you know, experimenting and kind of sharing uh, what they're doing. Also, something very critical is there's a kind of a lot of uh, you know, startup innovation happening in this ecosystem. So people taking crazy bets and trying to do some new things and we're kind of seeing this innovation cycle happening where a bunch of startups form, then natural consolidation uh, you know, kind of happens and we've kind of already seen that with F5 uh, established vendor acquiring suborbital sub not so long ago. Um, so that's kind of my quick little uh, you know, uh, overview of kind of what, what's going on in the ecosystem, how early things. I, we have a couple announcements. So our, our members have asked us to basically kind of what's going on in WASM land. So today we're open sourcing and sharing a state of WebAssembly uh, report that kind of covers what folks are you know, using a WebAssembly for, things like you know, which areas, whether it's web applications, serverless, et cetera, uh, what are, what, what's attracting developers to WASM, and also uh, what's, what are people's kind of sentiment on the future of WebAssembly. So all this stuff, is available and online for you to kind of um, you know look at and uh, you know uh, kind of uh, get 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 the data that you're interested uh, in there. So the final bit of announcement that I have is you know uh, something that's near and dear to my heart in CNCF is we have this crazy landscape that has kind of evolved over the years where uh, started out pretty simple and kind of a joke to have the community help do some of our work in tracking this and it's kind of grown to be this huge um, you know thing. We've had a lot of people ask us, can you please like do this for WebAssembly too? Because there's just a lot of these projects popping up, there's companies and so on. So, you know, I'm happy to kind of, you know, announce today that, you know, we, we've worked to kind of commission and build out our first kind of WASM landscape. So if you go to wasmlandscape.org, um, you, know, you could go check out what's there. And we have different areas broken about like which runtimes are out there, which languages, platforms, 
what observability options are there for, for WASM. So this is a first stab at it. Uh, it's, it's definitely not feature complete by, by any means, but uh, we want to work with all you in the community to ensure that this kind of continues and evolves and is as useful as the uh, lovely uh, CNCF landscape is. So uh, you know, I don't want to take any more time, but uh, please check out the State of WASM survey that we are committed to uh, continuing to do um, every year and then also uh, let's help uh, build a little WASM landscape so we can kind of have an idea of what this ecosystem is uh, growing into. So uh, other than that, thank you and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs>